state reporting its 11th pediatric death from COVID-19. All cases have been in victims who were unvaccinated. Pfizer pushing to get emergency approval for its vaccine for younger kids. Doctors say they are still learning of the impacts this virus is having on young children. So we don't fully have our hands around what the potential problems are downstream from COVID in that population. So protecting those kids uh, can be a particularly big payoff. Hospitals in Mississippi are still reporting high admissions for COVID-19. The overwhelming majority have the Omicron variant, but there have been some decreases in those numbers as of late. Unfortunately, though, we're, that takes us to that curve where you see the cases, then you see the hospitalizations, and then you see the death curve increase. So there are a lot of people that are still dying of this. You'll see that the percentage of the folks in the hospital, there's a higher percentage of ICU uh, patients because those people come and stay. Doctors urging caution as this fifth wave of the pandemic is losing steam in other parts of the country. In this state, people are still dying for the virus. That said, there was so much more of it. It was so effective at spreading that you know a, a lower likelihood of a really, really big event is still a lot. And so we still got a lot of people sick. The death rate or the death numbers, I should say, the death rate is lower for Omicron, but the total deaths surpassed even what we saw in Delta because there are just so many cases.